Hello future designers, welcome to another tutorial ABCD. Okay, so today we'll be doing the hehe -he emoji or sticker. So these are emojis that I did or stickers I did. So that said, I'm going to open Adobe Illustrator. Then I'm going to click on the artboard. So from the properties panel, just click on the artboard and then click here on this icon for us to for the artboard. So there's going to be the canvas for which we'll be doing our drawings. Okay, and then we'll be doing some of these um stickers okay so uh let's see which one to do first okay so we're going to do this first so that said let me position it all here enlarge it and then uh, i think we can get started okay so i'm going to select the ellipse to hold down shift key okay or let me release the shift key okay okay so this so we want something over a bit and then I'm going to give it this color value. Uh, yes, so this is going to form the face. Uh, and then, yeah, so that's the color code for that. And then uh, let's see what we can do now. Let's to do the math. Okay, so the math we've already done that in the previous lesson. So I'm going to look for the math here. So click Control C, Control F, and then I'm just going to move it to the other canvas so i'm just going to move it so okay and then i'll arrange and then bring to front okay so you right click arrange and then bring to front okay so now let's see so let's do the nostrils okay since it's a woman uh, who, who would want to make the nose very small okay um uh, like a pet's nose uh, the pet here, a pet nose, a pet nose. Okay, so the nose is going to be very small. Uh, it's going to make the lady cute. You give it a big nose, look, um, the lady might not look cute. So we give it a small nose. Okay, so I'll use the eyedropper and then I'll just pick the color. Okay. Okay. And then control minus to zoom out. And then uh, control C and then I'm going to move it okay with the help of the arrow keys to position them well and then let's see I think we'll have to do the eyes okay so for the eyes I'm going to click on the ellipse tool then while holding on shift I'll draw now give it a color value of white I don't know I think this the white should be the cornea then uh, just control C yes, that's all and then I'm going to move it okay so control C on click here control C control F and then I'm going to resize it while holding on shift and alt okay so I'll uh, we'll give it this color value by picking this Kind of um, the green family, kind of blue green thereabout. Control C, Control F again. Then I'll resize it. Then I'll give it a darker, a black color. Okay. So let's see what we are going to do here is to um, let's stretch it out or reduce this. Now stretch the base. Okay, you can still decide to leave it rounded, but uh, let's just try this. Okay. And then I'm going to have to do something like um, the reflected light. Okay, so click here, Control C, click here, Control C. Okay, let me restart. No, let me enlarge it. Okay. So now let's see what I need to do. Then then we'll do the reflection. I'll give it a white color. So I drop it and then give it a white color. And then I'll go to the opacity. Okay, so the properties panel and then I'll send this to 24%. You might want to increase it or decrease it depending on what you want to achieve. But uh, for me, I chose 24% opacity. And then I'm going to position it somewhere here or on my chin there. Positioning to okay. 
Okay, so use the arrow key to um, position them. Then let's see what to do. So control C, control F. Let me select all of these and then move them here. So I work on the eye only. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool and then I'll draw here. Okay. Give it a pink or this this color. Is it pink or um, is it beige or beige or color? So arrange and then send to back. Okay. So I'll click and then try to position it well with the help of the arrow keys. Okay, so let's see. So we'll would have to do the um, eyelashes. So the eyelashes, I'll go to the shape tool, then select rectangle. Uh, I think in the previous lessons, I made mention that the, the direct selection tool is um, M. I think it's rather an A. It should be an A. Okay. Rotate this. Let's hit control group and then control C control F and then just move it here. Then I'm going to rotate it again. Position it here. And then I'm going to select this two. Bring it down and then rotate it. Okay, so uh, we'll just have to give it the um, the colors. Okay, so highlight all with the help of the eyedropper, then just pick this color. Okay, so now uh, we have the eye and then the eyelashes done. Um, we can highlight all. So let's just select all. Okay, and then control C, control F. So this is going to form like a, a template for which we'll be doing the other or the subsequent. Um, Stickers. So now we're going to start. So I have to group this. So I'll highlight all and then group them. Then just move them to the face. Control C, Control F. With the help of the arrow key, I'm going to move it. So that's the right arrow key to the right side. Then select them and resize them by reducing them. Okay. Position them. Okay. And then Let's do the hair. Okay, so yes, rectangle two selected. I'm going to round the net. Okay, so click and then let's see the let's look out for the nodes. Okay. So we'll select the nodes and then round in the nodes to desired uh, roundness. So my was doing two depending on the size of, um, of your rectangle. Okay. So we'll have to enlarge this. So I have to pick the rectangle tool again, then draw a vertical rectangle. I would have to enlarge it. So let me enlarge it. And then round in the corners. Okay, I think I'll have to enlarge this again. And this too large. Let me reduce it small. So right click, arrange, or then position it well to the back, and then I'll have to right click, arrange, and then go to send to back. Okay. So our model seems to be the um, our object or image or sticker seems to be taking shape or form. I'm going to reduce the mark, so reduce it. Okay, while holding on shift key, we'll reduce it, then bring it down. Move the eye, move this one to, to the right side a bit with the help of the right arrow key and the left arrow key. And then uh, let's do the like a band for the hair, okay, something like a decoration. And then uh, just going to draw with the help of the rectangle tool. Then I'll click 
the eyedropper and then give it this color value. Let's use the direct selection tool and then round in it. Okay. Round it a bit. Bring this down. Let me click this. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and then bring it down. Okay, so that should be it for this side. Uh, let's see what we can do. So straight this down. Click here, click here, and then bring them down with the help of the down arrow key. Okay. Then I'll have to click on the base here and then stretch it. Then select this. Sorry, select only the hair. Okay, Control C, Control F, and I'm going to. Oops, um, delete this. So delete on the keyboard. Control C, Control F. I think even it's already this in, um, copy, so just Control F should paste it. Then I'll move it to the other side. I uh, have to right click, arrange, and then send to back. Okay, so let's click this and then arrange and then send to back. Send to back. Okay, so now what we'll have to do is to click on the nose and then take it down. Uh, we might want to even reduce it because it's too big for my liking. Okay, let's make it very cute, so very small. Yes. Okay, so this actually makes the lady beautiful. When you bring it down, Then, uh, isolation mode, double click on this. With the help of the eyedropper, I'm going to give it the color. I'm going to pick this color. And then that should be our model or our lady. Um, so if you want to add anything, you can add, but I'll have to highlight all and then group. Okay, so group, and then we are done with our first um, lady or sticker. So thank you. See you in a nice tutorial.